In the 20th century, scientists introduced the Big Bang model to explain how the universe began. This theory also helped describe how the universe has expanded over time and continues to grow. It quickly became a popular and widely accepted idea. But even with its success, it still doesn't solve every mystery about the universe. Some questions remain unanswered, leaving scientists to keep exploring and debating. In recent years, discoveries from space have added even more surprises. One of the most shocking discoveries came in 2023, thanks to NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. It captured images that showed galaxies that seemed to be older than the universe itself. This finding confused many astronomers. It made them question long-held beliefs about how the universe started. If galaxies formed before the universe began, then something is clearly wrong with what we think we know. This opens the door to new theories and ideas about space and time. It means our current understanding of the universe may need to be updated or even completely changed. The idea challenges the very timeline we use to measure everything in space. One of the most interesting examples of this mystery lies about 200 light years away. In the Leo constellation, there's a star called HD 140283, often referred to as Methuselah. This star is named after a biblical figure who lived a very long life. Scientists gave it this name because of its extreme age. Methuselah travels through space at nearly 45 kilometers per second. Its speed and direction suggest it may have come from a smaller galaxy that merged with the Milky Way. What truly makes it stand out is how old it appears to be. Early estimates suggested it was around 16 billion years old, much older than the universe. Later studies adjusted that number to 14.46 billion years, with a margin of error of about 800 million years. Still, that is older than the universe, which is believed to be 13.8 billion years old. This leads to a strange situation. How can a star be older than the universe it exists in? It doesn't seem possible, yet the numbers point in that direction. Astronomers have started to double-check their tools and techniques. They want to make sure the data is correct before making any bold claims. Estimating the age of a star is a complex task. Most stars, including our own sun, don't change much over billions of years. Because of this, it's hard to figure out their age just by looking at them. Scientists have to rely on clues like brightness, temperature, and color. They compare these traits to models that show how stars evolve over time. Another useful method is called gyrochronology. This method measures how fast a star is spinning. Just like a spinning top slows down with age, so do stars. By measuring the star's rotation, scientists can get a rough estimate of its age. Methuselah's rotation shows it's extremely old. This led some scientists to consider a different possibility. What if the universe itself is older than we think? To picture this, imagine the universe's history as one full year. The Big Bang would happen on January 1st Street. Earth would not form until December 31st Street. Human civilization would take up just the final seconds of that year. That's how small we are in the big picture. The current method of estimating the universe's age comes from studying light from distant galaxies. This light takes billions of years to reach Earth. As the universe expands, this light stretches and shifts to the red end of the spectrum. This is called redshift, and it helps scientists measure how far away things are. By studying redshift, Scientists estimate the age of the universe to be about 13.8 billion years. But some scientists now believe this number may be wrong. One physicist from the University of Ottawa, Dr. Rajendra Gupta, thinks the universe could actually be 26.7 billion years old. He built this idea by revisiting earlier theories from 1929 by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky. Dr. Gupta added modern data and came up with a bold new theory. He suggested that redshift might not only be caused by expansion. Instead, it could also come from particles like protons losing energy over time. If this is true, then our whole method of measuring distance and age in space could be flawed. This new idea could explain some of the unusual results seen by the James Webb Telescope.
It also links to older ideas by other physicists who thought that the laws of physics might have changed over time. It's worth noting that our estimates for the universe's age have changed many times in history. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was only about 2 billion years old. As technology improved and more discoveries were made, scientists updated their numbers. Eventually, they settled on the current estimate of 13.8 billion years. But that estimate could change again. The Milky Way galaxy, where our solar system lives, is also full of surprises. New research shows that stars near the galaxy's edges move slower than expected. This could mean there's less dark matter than previously believed. Dark matter is invisible, but it has a strong effect on gravity. It helps hold galaxies together, even though we can't see or touch it. The European Space Agency's Gaia mission has mapped nearly 2 billion stars. It gives scientists more accurate data about star movement and position. By studying this data, scientists can estimate the Milky Way's total mass. Some newer numbers suggest our galaxy could be five times lighter than once thought. If that's true, it means there may be much less dark matter than we believe. But measuring these things is difficult, and mistakes can happen. As new data comes in, scientists update their models to be more accurate. We may soon understand how old the universe really is, or even discover life on other planets. The more we learn, the more questions appear. Each discovery brings us closer to the truth, even if it means changing what we thought we knew. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.